Hello. Hi, this is uh, Elaine Berry with Coffee and One Thing, mm -hmm. and this is Team Berry, and we are ready and caffeinated and motivated. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. And we have our coffee for the month is our gold coffee, and it's a Kona coffee, but it's not as strong and as a, a lot of and the a Kona lower. coffee, so, so that is awesome. And that's what our that's our little special today, and our... Mm. If you missed our guest speaker from last week, you need to go check it out on episode 24 because he had some amazing things for us to yeah. look into about appraising. So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're Sounds going to talk good. about some uh, tips that you need to know when that appraiser is about to visit. So what do you yep. think? What's your first tip? Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be Don't happy. Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> they do understand that you're going to be packing. Yes. Yeah. So that's not a big deal. They're, they're, right. yeah. They actually expect those boxes right. to be scattered right. around, and it's a little discombobbled. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yep. It's okay. And usually the appraisal inspections after the home inspection. Right. So don't expect it to be the same. Right. That would be yeah. one right. thing I remember. Yeah. It's going to take, it, he's about, gathering information. He's just gathering information. Right. And, and yeah, as far as, I'm so sorry, but as far as boxes go, just make sure that if you, when you have boxes and stuff, you're not filling one room so that they can't see the walls. So don't overload one he area. He said a garage would be okay, but. Garage is fine, but, but the not, bedrooms. Yeah. 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 So they can see the walls and the space. That is yes. a good point. There. That is a good point. Okay. Back and like, to you. Turning some lights on, make sure that all the lights on. Have a so nice, they ha can see good view of, of all of your asset because right. that's really all they're looking for. They're not looking at your stuff. They're looking at your home. Yeah, they're checking bedrooms, bathrooms, and verifying space. Right. 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 Uh, declutter your yard from landmines from the dogs. Ah, Occupational <laughs> hazards. As he would call them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes that, that is a good point. Yeah. Um, he says it, it kind of makes them think. Hey, if they're not taking care of this, what else are they missing? What right. else are they not taking care of? So um, it's kind of a tip off right. for them. Yep. Or clean and neat, right? Yeah. We always talk about yeah. that. Clean and neat goes just a long way. Just as if it was way. a showing. Like, exactly. Just act like it's a showing. And you're already, you've already Gone probably all done that. all of this yeah. stuff because yeah. here you are. This is your, you know, under contract, and this is one of the phases of that. So right. you've probably all done this stuff, but just a reminder. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. <clears throat> exactly. Um, what about um, just the clutter and stuff of of being um, disorganized? Okay, there's stuff on the counters. We're not worried about that. He doesn't care. He just wants to see what the counters are. So, yeah, so you um, can't be completely covered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, if you have all your packages. Well, you'd have to have a blanket over the co the countertop and then boxes on top. So yeah, we hope you're not probably doing not that. gonna. Yeah. we're hoping like, you not. know, just in case. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. And then allow them space because they do photograph every room um, to for their report. So and they're not allowed to have people in their photos. Right. So allow them space to do that and, you know, yeah. to do their and I work. thought that was a good point because people mm -hmm. don't really think about that. Right. right. Yeah. Well, and more people he mentioned, more people are working from home. Yeah. And like if you're on a conference call, you know, he said you he can blur you out. But preferably. Right. right let them, let well, them do that. Well, don't thing. follow them around, and then he'll ask you, or the appraiser, whether it's a female or male, they'll ask you uh, questions afterwards if they mm -hmm. need to know anything. If they need anything yeah. to know. Right. 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 And, of course, one of the things that we do on our team is we're asking up front when you're listing your property what upgrades you've done, and we help you compile a list. Yeah. And that list, having that list for the appraiser is something it's that we do. In the, yeah. In the in with that, the in that with realm. the approximate cost and right. Right. right but you know that helps them that does right? help a yeah. lot informational it helps and so yes. you won't have to try to remember oh i need to tell them all this stuff right because we've, we've already covered all right. that if you work with team berry yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you should and you should because right. we're amazing that's it that's it um, and then the the other thing that I always try to tell people, and, and this is something that he made a comment to, is, is what you see that 15 or 20 minutes that they're in your home is not all that they actually do. Oh, yeah. No. And That's so it. it's it's like it's just the tip of the iceberg. They have a huge part of their job is where you don't actually get to see. And so um, so 
I think people get disgruntled because they're like, well, for 15 minutes and he made. How do they know? Yeah, you know. But but there's there's a lot of extra due diligence that they do. Well, they're only mad if it doesn't come in where they want. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> right? But they do a lot of research. It's a research. It's all job. researched. Yeah, most most right. of it's research with mm-hmm. a little bit of inspection. I would right. say. Right. And then their official report is big, big. huge. It's a, it's yeah. a lot of information. Right. So they write all that up. Oh yeah. Yep. And what's interesting is um, at the end of all of this, value value is what everybody wants to get to, right? Yeah. That's like, the what is the line. value of it? But um, but they're not going to know what the value is when they first walk into your house. So so that question is kind of moot. You know, just let them do their thing, and the seller, um, you know, will find out through the through the course of... Well, they do their point. inspection, and then what they come up with establishes the value. Exactly. Yeah. And oh, it you goes mean to... I'm not supposed to say, I'm not letting you in unless you tell me? <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it, but you can. <laughs> it's a little tough. <laughs> Let me be there. I want to see how that works out. But like he said, the, the for your sellers, the client, <laughs> the, <Not mine. laughs> the client is actually how he sees it, the bank, yeah. and so, yeah, the lender. That's so that's, the lender. so he works for the lender, mm-hmm. and so so to to you know ask certain questions and things, he doesn't feel that's appropriate to give that kind of information anyway. Right. So, um, and that's something we're familiar with, and we know when that report is submitted, that report goes to the lender, right? And actually, the buyer paid for it. Yeah. Then it's so the it's buyer's not, product at that. Yeah, point. it's not the seller's no product. Product they yeah. didn't pay for it. It actually belongs to the buyer, right? And and as a seller, you may never see. Well, you may if, as a know, listing agent, yeah. we don't. Right. We don't, we don't see often it see. It. You may it's, only it's know than, that it appraised mm-hmm. at value. May yeah. never know what it right. really appraised at. Right. Yeah. That's all you're going to get to know. But that's yeah. okay because and that that's can be all confusing you need to know. Yeah. For yeah. people yeah. going yeah. into it. So for sure. So yeah. So there has been a lot of tips. Mm-hmm. Wes was a delight to have on right. our yeah. show. I was Good information. Very excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. So. Um, if you know somebody who's buying or selling a home, like, share, and subscribe to them and make sure hey, that Barry. you come check us out. Um, we've got a lot more tips for you this month. So always use a very good team. Have a good day. Bye, y'all. And that's beer with a Y for Scott. <laughs> <laughs>